Hey, what's up guys? Dan Clemente and I have a new item here to try out for you. This is the new JTEC 2.8 watt laser that is shrouded with a spindle type setting. It's kind of cool. It's going to be where it mounts into the spindle instead of having to mount it on the side. And then I have all the wires here. Now, what I have to go with this here, I'll show you from this angle so I don't have my camera turned around, is I'm using a, right now, my other laser, 2.8 laser, is mounted to a mount that Phil Johnson designed for this spindle and it's been working i've been using it every couple of days and it's been working really good so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use for now the existing mounting just for the driver but i'm not gonna touch that other laser should work and then we'll plug this in measure it out from the workpiece, and see how it works i haven't tried it yet i have no idea how it's gonna work out i'm a little bit nervous because uh, everything else you know when you have other things that are already set up they're proven you know, it works well this is on a piece that's going out so I hope I don't mess it up. So let's give it a shot, I'll hook it up, and I'll come back in a few minutes. All right, so we have it mounted in the spindle. Uh, not without, of course, incident. I ended up breaking this little cover accidentally, so be careful with that little cover. Um, I was messing around with it, and I broke it off, so I glued it back together for now, but that's just a protective cover. Uh, I have extra uh, of that stuff, but I'd have to figure out the measurements, and I don't really feel like doing that. So I have um, Phil's mount that was from the original mounting style for the x carve he just kind of retweaked it a little bit for me to kind of hooks on to the um to the spindle we got this bad boy here wired to the driver this one's from the original one that's mounted down here i just have it unplugged for a second and there's also the wire that's uh, plugged from the new laser so it's kind of a wiring mess at the moment i am going to zero in the laser so let's do that real quick let's turn the laser on and we'll move it See if you can see it in there. The light's on in there. You can see it. We're gonna we're gonna just zero this out here. Make sure I get a very small increment so I don't ruin this thing here. Once it falls off the edge, right there's X, and then we do the same thing going the other way. It's hard to tape this while you're trying to watch the computer. We'll use my keyboard here. Small increments, very small. And that's the X and Y right there. Okay, there's Y. And we can return to zero. And we're good. I think. <laughs> I don't know for sure. All right, hold on. Stand by one sec. All right, so we're back. We're finished. We got our name laser engraved on the back of the wood using the 2.8 laser. This is the new mounting style from JTEC. It mounts into a quarter-inch collet. Um, you set it up about one-eighth inch away from the workpiece versus the original old style was three inches. Uh, pretty cool. Very, very easy to use. Uh, one thing you can do is if you didn't want to do this setup, this is, again, I, I have the other laser right here. You would just mount this using maybe double stick tape to your um, your Z-axis, or Jay also sells uh, extra long wire, and you can mount the driver over here and then run the wire to the laser and then disconnect it. Um, I always like having the driver close. I'm able to disconnect the wires, on, remove everything. It's easy, it's simple, and it's, it's the way I like it. It's the way I've been doing it for a long time with the other mounting style. Um, so I like it, I think it's cool. Initially, I was a little bit, I broke this cover in the process trying to move um, trying to move it over and it, it snapped off and hit the back end of the wood. That was my fault, something I wasn't paying attention and didn't hit my e-stop quick enough, but it happens. I glued it back together and look, it doesn't, no issues. Um, very nice, pretty cool. Setting up was pretty easy. Uh, two wires to plug into the driver board and that is it. I, I really like it, really happy with it. And I think you should try it out. Uh, just be careful again with the, you know, making sure because you, you have you lose a little bit of clearance if you have clamps, because this thing is very low when it's sitting inside. Uh, you know, this is three inch. I think this is like three inches. It's pretty, it's pretty tall. So you got to make sure you have a nice a nice clearance on your X. You know, from the material up to your X. Um, but yeah, it's like any other laser. It's pretty simple. Uh, I use a cross hatching style. Um, tool pad to make this happen and it's pretty simple so all right so my final thoughts good mounting style 
very easy to mount, simple, direct, right into your collet. I like that, but you do need to find a place to put the driver somewhere. Uh, that's the only thing. So, like I said, I got lucky having Phil's mount from, uh, uh, he made it for me, and that worked out really well. You would need to mount it somewhere. If you need to get longer cable, whatever, that'd be the way to do it. Uh, otherwise, I like Jay's products. I think they're great. I like JTEC. I have made a ton of money with JTEC lasers. I can't even, I mean, thousands of dollars by selling plaques. Um, I think I have one here that I had to throw away. I messed it up on the finish, but, but things like this, like, you know, this is all made with a JTEC 2.8 laser. Um, that's pretty detailed, but the finish got screwed up, so I had to redo it. But those are the things that I end up making with the JTEC. And that's a 2.8. I know he's got the 3 and the 7 and the 5. The 2.8 is very fine detail. I've used it a lot extensively over the last probably year. And I've had nothing but, but great success with it. I know a lot of guys say, well, should I get the higher, lot, higher wattage versus... I don't know. Um, it's not a CO2 laser, but the 2.8 has worked for me. I've done photos. I've done mostly engravings. It's been perfect. So uh, right now, the main usage for my JTEC is to put my name on the back of all my, all my work. Um, everything, I, everything I sell has to get my name on the back of it. That's um, it's just to me is important that you label your work. So that's pretty much that. Um, it's just a laser. I don't really have much to say about it besides that it's a cool mounting system. I really like it. I know a couple other guys that got it the last couple days, and they love it too. So I have no complaints. Again, just be careful when you're moving the work around or the laser around your work that you don't do what I did and smash that cover um, because it, it's, yeah, <laughs> you could do that. I was a little too low, and it smashed into a clamp, not realizing the clamp was there, and it took that cover right off, and it broke it. But just be careful with that. But otherwise, I think it's cool. I like it, and I give it... Two thumbs up. Wait, one, two. So that's pretty much it. Hope you guys like it. Enjoy it. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, ask away. I always say ask questions. I, I like questions. If I have the answer, I'll give it to you. If I don't know the answer, I'll find out for you. Uh, but that's all I got. There'll be a link in the description of the video below of where to get this laser at and to get this mounting style out you know, on his website. So that's pretty much all I got. But uh, I really like it. So we'll see you later. Thanks a lot. And keep on seeing, seeing guys. I wanted to add one more thing. I am gonna do a video for cross hatching and what that means and how to get V-Carve to create you a tool path that the laser can run. Um, I see a, questions, a ton of questions all the time about this. Is how do I make this laser work? What do I gotta do? So I'm gonna do a video, a separate video for that on how to set up a tool path, to get an engraving that you wanna do, some kind of black and white image or art, or not, not photos, I'm not doing photos, but I will do a basic, you know, we could do some words and I'll show you how to set that up in VCarve, how to set up the tool path and how to get it all set up on the laser engraved. So stand by for another video on that. I'll do it sometime this week. So just check it out. If you like my channel, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give me a thumbs down. I don't really care. Um, but yeah, I'm going to keep doing videos on the CNC stuff because I do a lot of work on this thing. I really love it. Even though it's a hobby level machine, this thing's a workhorse. This thing makes uh, makes a lot of work for me, and it's uh, the laser again is a very important part of my products that I sell. I do a lot of like retirement plaques, so stand by for a video on that. I know I said at the very end of it, keep on seeing, seeing, and I came to this clip, but hey, I thought about it after the fact, so I wanted to add it into the video. So again, stand by for another video, and when that video is done, it'll be on the bottom here. I'll have it like where it's the next video that you can watch. Uh, but just like I said, hang out, hang wait, hang tight. I'll do another video for that. All right, guys, we'll see you later. Thanks for watching.